The next job we want to do is actually put these uh, vents in the side. So I was in a um, home like home care, um, whatever they are in the UK. Here they're called Hornback uh, Bauhaus OBI. Uh, <coughs> but the equivalent in the UK, this is a ventilation uh, unit, <coughs> probably to let, take air out from a, a dryer or something, a laundry dryer. And this is some aluminium pipe, which I got, which is the perfect size. Um, the, these vents were closed down. You can see I've kind of opened them up straight. And the idea is that they will go into here so I'll take this box out and you can imagine that will be basically in there like that uh, obviously this will be flush up against this back piece and then when it sticks through through there we can put the pipe on it it's exactly it's the right size the flange is too big for there but the internal piece is, is good enough for what we need and it's the right size obviously for this aluminium pipe here, this corrugated pipe. So what we want to do now is, you can see this is the original opening for the air vents, the ball vents in the car. Um, so what I'm doing is, is cutting these out to the same size as the pipe here and then making a ring up from steel to, to go in there like that. So I'll take you around the other side and I'll show you one I've already started, which is this one here. So you can see I've cut it out. I've got the ring facing forward because there's not much room in the back and it needs to go around the corner. As you can see with this aluminium, it bends and it stays in that position and it stretches uh, very, very well. Um, I'll show you when I put it up on the camera stand, but you can see there that I can actually put Put the pipe inside and obviously that will go along the front and then I can bend it right round into that corner there so that's what I'm going to get on with today um, and that'll stop it chafing obviously if it was just and you can see maybe as I pull this you can maybe see how this uh, will extend and collapse which is perfect for what you need that's the right size as well and it will stay fairly rigid so you can see I did actually bend, sorry it's trying to hard, hard hold on this camera, you can see I did bend that piece on the end but it will, I don't know if that one, there you go, so that will give you an idea what we're talking about, and then this, will extend, I'll take this earth clamp on, and you can see that will extend forward into there to make the air cold air inlet in so that's uh, that's how basically how it's going to work and the nice thing like I said about this stuff is is you can bend it it will stay in one position or if you need to elongate it it will collapse so I can push it by pushing I can extend it out I can push it in so it's perfect for what I need so that's the idea behind it is that will be the vent system for the front on both sides. So I'm waiting for some parts to come from the UK that were supposed to be here on Friday, still haven't turned up, it's Monday now. Um, and that was this repair section for the scuttle, the closing panels underneath both sides and the new A panels um, to go on. But there's quite a few repairs to do so I can get on with it. But it is annoying when they tell you it's in stock and then you don't get it. And I'm just about to finish, do all the work on here. I was welding away and then uh, I couldn't get any weld feed. Then I realized, then I looked down and you can see, yep, it's out of wire. But I have another 15 kilogram one that I bought two weeks ago. So not being a smart ass, but I knew we were gonna run out. So I already got it and I'll pop that on straight away and we can carry on. There you go, that's the new one on. Yeah, they're nice, these big ones. They last for, uh, I don't know, I get a couple of years out of that, I think. I can't remember the last time I bought one of these. Yeah, at least a year's worth of welder. The amount we do. But yeah, really nice system. So, we're all ready to go. Put the cover back on and uh, crack on. So, I do want to show you how this, uh, this stuff works. So, it's, 
It's uh, coated, you can just but you can bend it to any shape you want basically. So and it'll pretty much stay there. But it's aluminium. So or you can have it just just straight. But the nice thing about that is you're going from that when it's collapsed to you know whatever. I can't even pull it out that far, but whatever you want. Um, and it's just uh, aluminium coated, but it will go back. So if you've got a situation where you want to lift the bonnet up or you want to lift the wings up or whatever, this is a perfect scenario um, because it will stretch that bit and as you push, for instance, if you lifted the bonnet up and as you push the bonnet back down, it will collapse itself. So uh, it's kind of got a memory in it. So this is the nice thing about it. I was very lucky to find it, which is had to be in a shop with my wife to get a new kitchen uh, light uh, for the kitchen in Vienna, for the apartment in Vienna. And I also found these, and these are basically, you know, like an outside vent. And all I had to do was just, the little spot welder was take this off to take this cover off and ended up with that. And there's even a, a mesh, I think you can, so hopefully you can see the mesh inside. I thought, hopefully you can see the mesh, there's a mesh here. So that'll filter all the stuff out. So basically what I'm going to do is line it up, put it inside and then put this on. I won't uh, actually put it on because if you see, it's, if you notice it's got these clips here and this sprung clips and it's extremely tight in here. So once it's on, it's, it's staying on. I think you'd have to cut the, the, the silver backing to get it off. So I'm not going to put it on until everything's painted last minute. But that's how it came. It came like a vent like that. So, um, yeah, so um, now I've got the new wire on, I'm going to crack on with this, get the other side done and basically do the repairs I can do without this scuttle repair pieces. Uh, we've also, I also ordered a, a door step up which we only need half of it so we can use it for both sides. It's just to repair this part of the door step and possibly on the other side, we don't know yet until we dig in there. Um, and the next thing I definitely need, the two things I need right now to get this build really on its way is I need the uh, safety devices roll cage, uh, which we're gonna buy. It's gonna be an eight point roll cage. It'll be um, the leg at the front, the leg down inside the companion bin, and then onto the rear tub, the rear arch. And it also goes around here and onto this bulkhead. So it's an eight point, uh, which is a cross section in the back, um, around about uh, 950 pounds. From mini spares, they seem to be exactly the same from safety devices, but they all seem to have different prices. Um, so we really need that because we need to drill all the holes and put the plates and everything in. And we need to know what we need to cut out as far as the companion bins to make it easier. And the other thing we need is the suspension. Now this this track day car or hill climb car, which it might be. Um, it's going to have coil over all the way around. It's easier to, to set up it's, it's, and, and you don't need the high low suspension with it. You've already got your springs in your coil overs. So if you take, take the amount that the high low kit plus new rubbers, if they're red, red dot or whatever color, um, the, the suspension cones but on, and ball joints, knuckle joints and so on. By the time I get all that, if you take that off what they cost, um, it brings the price down a, a little bit. They are expensive though, they're around £600 for the complete set, but that's everything, all the bolts, nuts, washers, spacers. But I need, the, particularly need the front ones because they are a six bolt holder on the top and much, much heavier fabricated as you would imagine because of the, the coil spring over the shock absorber. Um, so I really need those to be able to get on. And it seems to me that if you buy them individually, it's actually more expensive to do it that way. Uh, it's better, you're better off to buy the kit and have everything in it. If you add it up individually, it's more. So it seems that's the way we're gonna to have to go. But these items I really need to be able to get on with this build because I would like to have it painted before uh, the winter comes. Tall, tall order, but I would like to do that if it's possible. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we get on that. So I've got that all welded in, that uh, ring there. I'll just show you if I can do it with one hand. And, uh, you can see how well that fits in. It's got a nice fit. 
and it's tight because it's around the corner anyway. So, and you can see the outside of the ring is protruding slightly. So I've just cut this uh, uh, scuttle that's damaged it or rusted it away. <clears throat> I haven't cut it as far back as it should be because I haven't got the new piece yet. But I'm fairly sure it comes to around about here somewhere. Um, but you can see somebody's already stuck a patch in it there. A few bits and pieces, so I weld all this up nice and tight. And uh, yeah, good to go. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, what I'm really waiting for is these repair panels so I can do this, because obviously all this has got to be cut out up to, I guess, around here somewhere. Uh, and uh, take these spot welds out of here. Just a little tip, if you're doing this and you're doing anything on any of the window openings, just make sure, make sure, it's, it's my dog outside, I can't see what she's doing. Um, just make sure it's well spotted and it's flat because you'll have trouble getting the rubber on otherwise. And make sure the aperture is spot on with the, for the window of the glass. So, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and I hope you'll subscribe or give us a thumbs up or whatever. Catch you later. Bye.